Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I have an interesting article here about Lukashenko, who is the president of Belarus, and he makes um, some statements. He actually invites Biden, the president of the United States of America, to come to Minsk and to talk about peace. So uh, if uh, Biden comes, Putin will come. This is in Lukashenko's head. Now, I will analyze his statements and actually I'm going to analyze what could go through this person's brain because he is in a position, a very dangerous position, but a very important position. He's the president, the head, the tyrant, however you want to call the self-proclaimed president of a state. So to stay there in that position and make be able to stay there uh, and not be taken care of, if you know what I mean, and make this kind of statements uh, shows a little bit of uh, delusional here or I don't know if this is for real. So let's see what's going on here. This article comes from Ukrainska Pravda and it is from today the 16th of February 2023. Lukashenko invites Biden to Minsk to end war saying Putin will join too. If this guy is serious when he makes this kind of statements and invitation, he must be delusional. That's the first thing. He doesn't know anything about anything over there in uh, international relations. Uh, if he's just joking, I understand that. If he's just, you know, uh, making fun of Biden or so on, I understand that. If he just wants to turn the, uh, how should I put it, turn the tables on Biden again, it's kind of like ridiculous because uh, nobody would ever think that Biden would come to Minsk. So it could be just a prank, a little fun thing. Uh, now, see, he is considered the self-proclaimed president of the Belarus, Alexander Lukashenko. And the same self-proclaimed, I find, uh, or the tyrant or dictator, or all these kind of uh, terms, um, attached to Lukashenko. Now, I don't know if he's a tyrant or whatever he is. I know he's not a lover of uh, free, uh, free and free and free, but uh, neither are I others, if you know what I mean. Okay, so let's go back here. Let's see what happens. Self-proclaimed president of Belarus, Alexander Lukashenko, has invited US President Joe Biden to Minsk to meet with Vladimir, Vladimir Putin to, and I'm quoting, stop the war against Ukraine. Source, Belarusian state-owned news outlet Belta, citing Lukashenko. And I'm quoting, why is Biden going to Poland? Yes, why exactly is he going there? But well, I'm going to discuss that too, because I have another article where they said he's going to go over there to what? <laughs> Celebrate uh, the invasion? It's um, idiotic. What exact, why exactly to Poland? But we are not too worried about this. If he wishes to do so, you can tell him through your channels there, we are ready to receive him in Minsk and have a serious conversation if he wants peace in Ukraine. And even Putin will fly to Minsk and the three of us will meet here. Two aggressors and a peace-loving president. Why not? For the sake of ending the war, if he wants to end the war. I'll send a Boeing plane from Poland to here if necessary. We will welcome him. So his two aggressors and a peace-loving president. So obviously the joke is right there. <laughs> but anyway, if you say this, if you read this, two aggressors and a peace-loving president, and you uh, make the statement in the free world, they will not uh, figure it out, if you know what I mean. <laughs> we say, yeah, that's, uh, uh, that's accurate uh, reporting and assessment of... <laughs> All right, and right here in your presence, the three of us, I guarantee you that Vladimir Putin will come here, will sit down and solve the whole problem. We will solve all the problems here. I invite you, uh, I invite you and your president to Minsk, Lukashenko supposedly addresses American journalists. We will provide complete security and comfort, ladies of the night and vodka. And most importantly, he will live satisfied. <laughs> Uh, sexually satisfied or what? At the same time, I don't think nothing can happen down there for uh, Biden, but uh, well, he's got uh, other uh, uh, tools as well, I guess. At the same time, 
and how he can be used. <laughs> At the same time, the self-proclaimed president himself said that Biden would not come and stay in Poland. Background. At the end of the, of the last week, the White House confirmed that the U.S. president would visit Poland on 22, 20 to 22 February. There are also rumors that Joe Biden might meet with Ukrainian president to the president of Ukraine in Poland during this trip, but they said no, not yet. Now, I saw other articles in the free mass, in the free uh, media uh, here in the free world, and uh, they said that Biden is going over there to, I don't even know, commemorate, celebrate, anniversary, I don't know exactly what terms term they used, the Russian invasion of um, Ukraine. Now, I wonder why he wouldn't go, let's say, in September 1st in Poland. I think it's more important September 1st than um, 24th of February, don't you think? And if you might wonder what the hell happened in September 1st, put it in uh, 1940, no, 1939. What am I talking about? I was about to say 1945. <laughs> 1939, September 1st is a time when uh, Germany invaded Poland. So I think that that war, which was the Second World War, uh, caused more damage, more suffering for more people and uh, Europe was destroyed. And I think that is a more meaningful start of a war than the 24th of February, I think. So why is this more important than that one? Because he's the president, <laughs> that's why. And he wants to make it more important than that one. So if you really want to commemorate something, I think that should have been commemorated. But you can't really do that because if you do that, you have to go further than that and you have to see when the Soviets invaded Poland. And then you have to answer some questions like why, uh, I don't know, maybe not Biden necessary, but at least uh, his allies. You know, why did you declare war on Germany only and not on Soviet Union as well, since they were both aggressing your boy, uh, Poland at that time. But hey, don't ask for consistency or anything like that, because it doesn't work that way. So obviously Biden will not go anywhere. Obviously Lukashenko uh, is joking, because if he wouldn't, I think he would be just delusional. And this is something I, the, his position, where he's at. So let's put it uh, as this guy's report, that he is a ruthless dictator, self-proclaimed and so on. Okay, tyrant. Now these guys, tyrants, live in a country, live in an environment where they could be cut off, if you know what I mean. Biden doesn't live in that environment. Uh, he can be just voted out, supposedly, you know what I mean? Just voted out or, you know, impeached and that's it. Impeach if you don't do too much uh, uh, bullshit, then you're not impeached. But now this one and impeached successfully. Not only impeached, nothing happened and try again next time. Try your call later. So here we have uh, this guy who lives in an environment where he has people trying to basically remove him by force. So he has to be very, very keen and has to pay attention. He has to figure things out. He has to plan ahead. So he should be more, and I'm not uh, making here a, a, a little uh, uh, lecture on uh, how great these guys must be, but the environment dictates what kind of person you are. And the environment he lives in, if correct, he is a very stressful environment where you have to pay attention to left and right. These guys are going to uh, kill me during uh, when I go to bed or something. So that's the environment over there. So I can't be I can't believe that uh, Lukashenko is this naive not to understand that actually Biden, you know, would not even be told what he just said. But he did it probably just to make fun and the mass media, uh, you know, uh, push it further and me, you, and we hear about this. The problem is. Uh, I don't know exactly how the Ukrainians, uh, what their intention is by promoting this kind of statements, which really have no, no value. It's just a, no, no, uh, how should I put it, practical value. Because you know, uh, Biden is not going to come over there whatsoever. And neither uh, Lukashenko will be invited to Poland. As I said, if, Poland go, if Biden goes to Poland for the 24th of uh, February 2022, that's stupid. 
um, because I tell you there are many, many other events in Poland that are more important than uh, this one. But hey, that's his choice. He wants to point that out. Uh, that's fine. Mass media will make money as well because uh, if mass media doesn't have anything very, very important to report, people don't uh, click on mass media. So mass media makes a lot of money too by... Uh, I mean, it's just by coincidence, they report. They, all they do, they just report. So in this case, they report this little thing with Lukashenko. Nothing will happen. And I think Lukashenko is just making fun of Biden. And let's say if Biden comes, he's not going to come, but I'm just saying, if Biden comes, do you think that he's going to be uh, signing papers? Do you think that he would be able to do anything? No, because, because when he comes back to uh, Washington, D.C., uh, he will go into a, a long sleep because he would be very tired uh, because the decision makers are not uh, he's not Biden or Kamala I mean Kamala <laughs> anyway I, I, he is the one who shows up and he signs documents and he reads whatever those guys are telling him how to read turn him left or right push him forward stop him uh, dress him up or you know comb his hair you know getting ready for the speech and all that but He's just over there a uh, figure head. The problem is we got how, how insecure those forces, those interests must feel that they have to have something like this in the office of the president of the United States of America instead of having an able, you know, that tells you a lot. I mean, really, as I always say, the next one is going to be a guy in coma, you know, uh, and people will vote for, for that. Why? Because they're so smart. Uh, they voted for Biden after all. And I got to tell you, Biden, just listen to him and you realize this guy is not, unfortunately, uh, I don't think it's very clear out there. So they voted for this guy. What's below this guy? A guy in coma. No. Over there. Vote for him <laughs> or for her. All right. So this is it. No visit, I guess. But maybe... We'll have a surprise. Uh, I give it a zero percent. Thank. Oh, let's put it to one. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong. Stay smart. Look for the truth and be just.